remembrance. When Ginger's uh, cenotaph was open in 1921, was it? The people who served in the First World War came down with the banner, never again, never again. The song, Young Willie McBride, have you heard it? Young Willie McBride. Ah, Young Willie McBride, it's all happened again, and again, and again, and again, and again. As you know, I did this gig at the Royal Albert Hall, British Legion Remembrance Service, and on the same bell was Josh Stone. I followed her back to her dressing room, and I said to her, Josh, you've got a lovely voice, I said, but you fucked that song up. <laughs> She, she was very taken aback, and I, I, was, I was very angry about it because she'd taken a, a powerful anti-war song and made it into a sort of anodyne pop song. So I'll sing you Greenfields of France, as she should have done it, right? Well, how do you do, Private Willie McBride? Do you mind if I sit here down by your graveside? To rest for a while in the warm summer sun. I've been walking all day now and I'm nearly done. I see by your gravestone you were only 19 when you joined the Great Falling in 1916. I hope you died well and I hope you died clean. For oh, young Willie McBride was it slow and obscene. Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the pipes slowly? Did they sound the death march as they lowered you down? And did the pipes play the last post and chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? Did you leave but a wife or a sweetheart behind? Some faithful heart is your memory enshrined. Although you died back there in 1916, in that faithful heart are you forever 19? My dad died in 1980, and at the Christmas before he died, I finally got him to tell me why he didn't wear his medals. As a child, I used to go with him and my mother and my brother um, to the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday. All the men there had medals on their chests. My father didn't. But he never, ever told me why he didn't wear his medals. And he never showed me his medals. And the reason was he was the only one who came back from his group of friends. Um, and when he was supposed to pick up his medals, he refused to get them. Um, because I presume he felt guilty about the fact he was the only one who came home. Ben. ben, nice to meet you. Oh, oh yeah, good to meet you. I find that quite a hard question to answer, really. What does remembrance mean? I mean, to me, I'm not sure if it means anything anymore. I find this whole period very difficult, you know, like... In previous years, I got, I got into right state in this time of year, you know, like... Um, I suppose depressed, anxious, really angry, like uncontrollable emotions. Armistice Day is the 11th of November, and then you've got this kind of build up to it. And this is like a four week period, you know, it's longer than Christmas. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it sort of started in October with all the adverts on the TV, adverts on the tubes, adverts on the billboards. And it really used to, well, it still does piss me off. Cool. 
you have to get your medals out of the drawer that you stuff them in and you have to march up and down in a blazer so like you're still in the military so you're still sort of giving off that persona of the indoctrination that they've put into you and also and, civilians are told how to remember you will wear a poppy you will stand in silence you will be deferential to the veteran i don't need to be told by the state this is the time we remember this for two minutes when you know myself and other people will remember this every fucking day And did the band play the last post and chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? Ah, Willie McBride, I can't help wondering why. Do those who lie here really know why they died? Did they believe when they answered the call? Did they really believe that this war would end wars? For the sorrow, the suffering, the glory, the pain, the killing and dying, it's all been in vain. For young Willie McBride, it's all happened again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Uh -huh.